Hi folks, it's uh, 15 minutes past midnight and here's a quick impromptu video for you. I'm trying to be really quiet because people have gone to bed um, but Reza Studios have just dropped an update. So here's a quick hash together immediate review of a few of the changes. Uh, better stuff coming in, well, in the morning or tomorrow. Anyway, uh, I hope this is some use. Hi folks, impromptu video here uh, because I've just uh, turned on Steam to find out that Reza Studios have dropped an update to AMS2 and I've been reading through the, I just had a quick glance through the notes, it's 11 o'clock, I literally just, at night, I, I just turned turned on Steam and, uh, or, or went into the Steam of turning on the computer and, and uh, found the update. There's been an update uh to the gt3 car so i'm now going to try out the mclaren here um there's uh, uh, it's about a 750 megabyte update there's been updates to the gt3 cars uh, in terms of physics um there have there have been a few art updates to certain tracks um also the nuremberg ring has the Nordschleifer has been released so that's great news for everyone that wants to launch live. Not good news for those of you who have been enjoying the Nuremberg GP free track because uh, if you haven't bought the DLC or if you haven't bought the season pass, you are now not privy to that. Um, they gave us that for free, um, and now you have to go and buy the the DLC. But it's only $7.99 um, unless you buy the season pass, and then you, you're getting everything for it. Um, but that's a lot more expensive anyway. Um, I'm in the McLaren. I have already found one thing uh, because before making this video, I did load it up and found that these controls, my paddle shifts here, are not working. And I've just been uh, in, uh, I just previously been into R Factor 2, and uh, they are definitely working. So um, I've reloaded the game, and they're still not working. I've changed the assignments. I don't know if that's a problem with the new update or if something's gone wrong my end, but. They don't seem to be working. I can't. I've assigned the paddles. They won't. They won't shift. So I'm actually having to shift with my H pattern Fanatec down here. Uh, my shifter. And if I go into sequential mode, that doesn't work either, um, which is very strange. Um, so anyway, uh, let's get out on the track. Stick me pit speed limiter on. Um, now what I'm going to do, the first thing that I'm, I'm interested in is that I notice, I'm turning the ABS off here because I noticed when these cars came out that there were some pretty glaring issues, I'll let this guy pass, pretty glaring issues in that the, if you turned off the ABS in this car, and a couple of them actually, You'd go for go for a full-on emergency stop in this car, and you couldn't lock up the tyres. It was like the ABS was still on. So let's see with the ABS off. Ah, there we go. That's <laughs> there we go. That seems to have been fixed. Well done, Reza. I did have faith that they would sort this out. I thought, okay, these are a bit broken, but they're going to come up with going to come out with an update. Which I I've already done one, so this is, I think, the second update to the to the cars. Um, and let's try that again at a slightly lower speed. Yeah, tire smoke, tire sounds, and uh, I can feel it going light on the steering as I look up. That's fantastic. Well done. Thank you, Reza. Um, right. The other thing is the back end. Uh, I did hear the Porsches described by one person on a forum as unspinnable and I was finding that you, you couldn't even do a donut in these extremely powerful rear wheel drive cars so uh, let's see what the traction issue is like I've got the traction control turned off let's do a donut ah there we go we are doing a donut Fantastic! That is uh, that's great news. So well done there. And I have to say, in general, the cars. Oh, missed the shift. The car is feeling. It's feeling a lot better. Okay. 
uh, like I said, this is a quick impromptu video, so I'm just going to go through a few of the cars. Let's go and see what they've done with the Porsche. So here we are with the Porsche 911 GT3 R. And now uh, the Porsche is, uh, there's been a lot of uh, talk and uh, complaining about them being too bouncy. Uh, all of the Porsches, I think. Um, and also, like I said, you couldn't seem to do, you couldn't seem to get the back end out on these at all. So we're loading it up now. Um, let's see if it's just the McLaren that's got the gear issue. Try me paddle shifts. No, I still can't shift with my paddles for some reason. Uh, very, very strange. Um, and oh, another thing. Uh, my seat forward and back, left and or up and down. Oh, I've stalled it. <laughs> my seat moving ability seems to have gone as well. This, I don't know if there's just some controller disconnect going on here. Um where's me it's speed limiter. So coming out of here. Um also we're on track with some AI which is a good thing because there are in the notes there are AI improvements. Um, they have adjusted the aggression I think I remember just reading the creature before I loaded this up. And they have adjusted their behaviour when you side by side. And they'd already done that in a previous update. I think they've gone and refined it a little bit more. I found the AI pretty good after the last update. Um, anyway, let's get rid of our anti-lock brakes and our traction control. And, uh, oh, that. AI car there come up very close behind me. They usually hang back a lot. Um, he came up very close, but he didn't hit me. The McLaren there has taken a nice clean pass around me as well. This is uh, so far seeming pretty good. Look at that. Look at how close he's following him. Brakes feeling good there. Locked up. Tire smoke. Try breaking it in a completely straight line. Yeah, got the lock up there, feeling it through the steering. Uh, let's go out onto this big wide patch here and see what happens if we try and donut this car. Okay, that's better, but it's. Yeah, that is better than what was going on before. I am getting a donut there. It does feel a little bit like the, uh, the diff is very open. They've done some work on the diffs as well. Okay, yeah, that's not... Oh, get the wall there. That's, that's not giving us a full donut. Rather appropriate that I am doing donuts. You know, being a bit of a donut. <laughs> Anyway, uh, let's take it for a little spin. Doing pretty good. Still quite bouncy, but then again, I know a lot of people are complaining about it, but be a bit bouncy in well all of the games really I'm sorry I've never driven one but watching them on television they do seem to be that way this is this is feeling good this really is and I'm you know getting a fairly good look up there so uh, they've also said that they've updated the damage and I think I read that they've updated the, da the visual damage on the McLarens I'm not sure about the Porsches so let's, let's be a bit naughty and uh, oh that's definitely some oh, look at that 
That's definitely a, a visual damage update. Um, don't need to go to an outside camera to see that the uh, car is definitely visually damaged. So that's really good. I'm pleased to see that because I, I, I love good visual damage and good damage physics in the game. Uh, talking about damage physics though, I will say I think this game or this simulation needs another damage setting because it's only got visual or physical or full which is vis visual and physical but I do think they need another setting called realistic because I have just literally driven head on into a car there and my car is still moving. Uh, can we have some proper realistic damage? Can we have something like we had in GTR 2? Anyway, let's go and have a look at uh, one of the other cars. So we're now in the GT, uh, the uh, Porsche 911 GT3 Cup car. And this car has ABS but no traction control, so we don't have to worry about that. So we'll turn the ABS off. Out we come. Now these GT3 cars, these are the ones that are really bouncy. We love these in our factory too. Well, challenge to drive, they are quite a challenge to drive. Uh, excuse my warnings, I'm not really paying attention to proper track etiquette. No problem with locking up the brakes there. And oh, yes! Okay! Back end coming out there. Let's have a look what happens. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's still really weird. If you try and do a donut, it just. There we go, it doesn't happen, does it? Hey, I are definitely getting clever. Look at that. I've navigated around me very nicely. Oh! <laughs> and it uh, looks like they've updated the damage for all of these. As I completely ruin what I'm doing here. Can't find my gears. They really have updated the damage on, on all of the GT3 cars, it seems. Look at my fender there. Right, can we get... Get a donut out of this, see if we, uh, you know, we can't get any kind of a donut out of this at all. No, not at all. That's really quite weird. I really just find that very strange. In a rear wheel drive powerful car, you can't get a donut going on. Doing a little bit off. The flat spots are now definitely there in the game, you can really feel those. Right, so let's try a different car and just uh, just try a random GT3 car and see what the AI are like. So actually I've decided to go for a GT4 car. I've gone for a Porsche Cayman, uh, not a GT3 car at all. I honestly can't remember if I meant anything in the notes about the GT4s. May have done, may have not. I just had a quick scan over them uh, before I test them in a race against the AI. Let's just see how the car is feeling. Coming onto the track here at Sao Paulo, into Lagos. Sunny, sunny Brazil. They've done some sound updates to the Porsches as well. Apparently, that uh, problem with the wine on one of the Porsches has been sorted. Uh, yeah, brakes are good. Brakes are good. What about donutting in this thing? No, no, so I just can't, right, I cannot get a donut out of this damn thing at all. 
really weird. It's like there's artificial aids on when you haven't got any on. Uh, AI very uh, break very well for me there. Let's. Hmm. Now the AI previously were if you you know slowed right down in the middle of the track like that, they'd uh, slow right down behind you. They wouldn't really try and overtake. See what happens if we get in front of one at a similar speed to how they're going, then gradually slow down in front of him. Gradually slowing down in front of him, just for a slight touch at the back end. But, oh, no, he's going for it. He's going straight round. Okay, how about this one? No, oh. He did give me a bit of a touch on the back end, but then again, I did, you know, unexpectedly slow down right in front of him. What about this? This, this guy's going quite slow. Can we keep him there? Can we keep him there? No. Wow. Okay, I have to say, this seems like there has been a major AI improvement. So let's get back to the pit box. Let's skip to the end. This is a bit hashed together. I, you know, it's close to bedtime. I just wanted to uh, try and get a, a, a quick review out as this update has dropped. Okay, let's go for it. Yeah, we do. Okay, so we are going green. There we go. At the back of the grid. We'll just do a couple of laps with these guys. Try and get in the pack. Oh, I forgot I've got my ABS turned off there. Around the outside here. gone completely off track there because I've got random people walking into my room off camera that you can't see taking me off my driving try and catch up with them else this won't be a very good AI do you know what we're gonna start we're gonna start that again okay so I've actually swapped over to the McLaren for the AI test just because I'm a little bit more used to driving that than the Porsche. The AI are set at 90 skill level and I've turned them up to 70 for the aggression level just to really test them out see if they are raceable at 70% on the aggression. It seems to be... Oh! Uh, that noise you heard wasn't actually me hitting any of them. They've not hit me. That was those AI hitting each other. So, first corner, first few corners we've got through cleanly. I am predictably in last place. Let's try and make a little bit of a dive down the inside here. Not be too unreasonable, but just unreasonable enough. Okay. No problems there. They're looking quite good together there. Not noticing still a bit of weaving going on, you know, slightly unnecessary weaving, but it's looking pretty good to me. Taking a dive down the inside, it's a bit naughty, and yet they, they've realised I was there, they've come close, but not smacked into me. Let's try and make up a few places here, late on the brakes. Uh, yeah, coming cl coming very close, but not hitting me. Okay, this AI update is looking really pretty damn good. I've gone totally wide there. What's this guy behind going to do? Is he going to catch up? Sticking with us. I have found that the AI, once you've overtaken them, will hang back quite a bit. And this guy seems to be sticking with it, not hanging back too much. Got two Porsches side by side here, nice to see them racing each other. Going for the overtake down the middle there. I've gone a bit wide. Oh, that's fair enough. I've got a touch there, but he had every right to because I really did get in his way. The Porsche avoided me nicely there. I've got to say, folks, so far, I'm very impressed. I don't, I've certainly got nothing to really, really harp on and complain about here. 
driving and the AI at the moment should be complaining at me for my horrendous driving. Well, from that little example, folks, I'm fairly pleased. More in-depth uh, review to come up, I think. That time I did another AMS review. And uh, also might see what that new DLC is like. Anyway, folks, I'm off to bed. I hope that's uh, been of some use. Cheers.